to bring in Congressman Brad Wenstrup, Republican from Ohio and member of the Armed Services and Veterans Affairs Committee. He's also a veteran of the Iraq War. Congressman, a pleasure to see you. Thank you, Jose. Good to be with you. Thanks. Let me ask you about this uh, predatory loans issue. How serious is this when it comes to the military? Um, I think it's something that some people have concern about. I think that some of our troops need guidance on these loan issues. Uh, I think that it, for many, though, it's their only way that they can get by sometimes from week to week. And so yeah. I think that it's something that maybe we pay attention to, but I think it may just be a little bit more education for the troops and actually real nefarious behavior. The president also expected to talk about the VA scandal and the wait times for veterans. I mean, last week the VA said it can't count how many veterans died while waiting to sign up for health care. I mean, how scandalous is this? Well, this has been the issue all along, and obviously years and years of bad behavior by the VA is now being addressed, and we're fortunate for that, I guess. I'm glad that the president is going to speak to the VFW today. I'm a member of the VFW. I think that Bob McDonald has been working very hard to turn this ship around in, in so many ways, and I hope that the president has his back on this. I think Republicans and Democrats alike would really like to have the president out there saying, the buck stops with me, and we're going to turn things around and get this system up and running the way it should be to take care of our veterans. How do you do that? How do you make the system that is so bureaucratically <laughs> bloated turned around? How do you do that? Well, you have to, I think, model it a little bit more towards like private industry. But let's let's be realistic. You know, in a private practice, and I practiced privately for 27 years, your your increase in productivity is what keeps your doors open. You have to be productive to keep doors open. For the VA, it's been really the opposite. When you're productive, you actually have dollars going out. We need to talk to and reward the, the caregivers that are actually taking care of patients and find ways to increase their productivity to be on more of a scale as that with private practice. The VA operates at about a third of the productivity as a private practice. And uh, before I let you go, the governor of your state, John Kasich, will formally announce he's running for president this morning. Uh, uh, what's your position on that? Are you going to endorse him? Well, I haven't endorsed any candidate this time. We're taking a look at uh, all of them. He's announcing today. He's done a lot for Ohio. I think we have a strong field out there of candidates. And I look forward to the debates and hearing their ideas and have... Uh, have us get an opportunity to have a vision of America that's more productive. We want people that want to lead and put America out there in the front of the fold. And I think we're going to have an opportunity to see people that can do that and have done things like that in their careers. Congressman Brad Wester, thank you for being with me. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you very much, Jose.